I've always kind of toyed around in the idea of building games. I actually used to build levels for the original Doom out of Lego. Um, I mean, this is when I was really young because I've been playing uh, games since I was probably two. You know, I, I used to watch my dad play Mario. When I was three, Doom released. I used to watch my dad play Doom and then eventually started playing that as well. Um, the first video game that I ever created was um, not finished, as many people's first video games ever were. Um, I was working on I was working on a game in Flash <laughs> way back when, um, and it was nothing particularly special. It was me just learning the tooling and learning uh, action script. Um, the first game I ever, I guess, what I would actually call completed and released, it was a game called Dropped. It is a platformer, single screen platformer. Um, the core go or the, the core goal when I was designing it was to see what I could do, on, uh, like what with the constraints of a, of a single screen levels. So I've been working on a game called Audiozo, and Audiozo has actually had many challenges that were pretty large. Um, I, procedural level generation is definitely not the easiest thing you can do. Um, getting something that, that works isn't that, isn't so hard. Getting something that works well is. Even though you can write movement mechanics in, you know, maybe 10 lines of code, getting it to feel exactly like you want it can take a long time. So generally, I guess the takeaway would be, um, that... If it sounds easy, it's gonna probably be hard. And if it sounds hard, it might actually be quite easy. Um, but it always seems that whatever, whenever you estimate how long something's gonna take, a lot of people will say like, multiply it by pi. The things that you always, always feel like are gonna be the easiest because it's a simple sounding idea, usually take the longest. Because simple things to implement typically are, or simple things from a, perspective of the user are typically the most complex to get right. But what inspired me to, to actually, uh, you know, be a game dev now or, or actually keep doing that? I had a long conversation with uh, a friend of mine, Wyatt Chang. It made me realize that I wanted to be building games again. I'm Andrew Jamian, computer game scientist, alumni of Game Dev Club, former president, and game dev.